Hi, adventurers. It's me, Navigator Nate. You're probably wondering where Cammie is, I guess. Well, a little while ago, we went out for a walk because it's such a beautiful sunny day. And we were enjoying the walk in the woods so much that we went further than we normally do. In fact, we went down a path I hadn't gone down before, and Cammie wasn't on her leash. We walked for a long time, and we came to a big field, and there we saw bunnies. A lot of bunnies. And I know what you're thinking, how cute. Well, yes, bunnies are cute, but if you have a friend like Cammie, you know that they really like to play with bunnies, and Cammie took off running after them. I called and called her, but she kept running with them. They were all having a great time, but pretty soon I couldn't see them. And I knew it was almost time to guide you through your weekly church adventure, so I had to come home. But don't worry, Cammie knows those woods really well, and she will absolutely find her way home. Actually, Cammie being gone today aligns well with today's church adventure. Today we're going to explore parables Jesus used to teach about sinners. No, Cammie hasn't sinned really, but she did stray away from the path, and she didn't stay with me like she should have. Have you ever done anything like that? I remember a third grade trip to the zoo. That was a lot of fun. So many animals. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Monkeys in the trees. Otters and tanks that swam along with you as you ran from one side to the other. And big animals like giraffes and elephants. We were in groups of four, plus a chaperone and we were told to be sure to stay together. We ate lunch outside, played on a jungle playground, and everything was great until an hour after lunch when everyone got called back together. We were worried this meant we didn't get to finish our trip, and maybe we wouldn't even get to go to the gift shop. Turns out the class troublemaker, Todd, had not followed directions and left his group. No surprise there. It took probably 30 minutes, but they found him. He had gone back to the monkey house and was jumping around imitating the monkeys. This was also no surprise. But then, when they found him, not only did we not leave and he wasn't punished, they got everyone ice cream. We actually all got to know Todd better because of it and became friends. Plus, we still went to the gift shop. So how does this relate to Jesus' parables about sinners? Well, the three parables, the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the prodigal son, all talk about how if you lost something, you'd be really happy if you got it back. The parable of the lost sheep is, if one sheep out of a hundred wanders off, the owner will leave the other ninety-nine to go find it. Luke chapter 15 verse 7 says, In the same way, there's more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over 99 others who are righteous and haven't strayed away. And the lost coin is about, if a woman loses one of her 10 silver coins, she will search her home until she finds it and rejoice when she does. Luke chapter 15 verse 10, in the same way, there is joy in the presence of God's angels when even one sinner repents. The parable of the lost son tells us about a father and his two sons. Dad gives them their inheritance and the younger leaves home, wastes all the money, and eventually comes back. He's truly sorry and sees that what he did was wrong. The father embraces him and welcomes him back home fully. The older brother, though, is really angry. The father answers him in Luke chapter 15, verses 31 and 32, saying, Look, dear son. You have always stayed by me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. These parables are like my story about Todd. He shouldn't have left his group. It made the rest of us upset and annoyed, especially at first because we thought we would all lose out on our fun during our field trip. But when Todd was found, instead of punishment, when they found him, they celebrated his being safe and back with us. God wants everyone to join him in the kingdom of heaven. 
He's thrilled that those of us who follow his word and have faith do so. But if even one person who is on the wrong path changes that path and starts to follow him, that is a true cause for celebration. That's the lesson in these parables. Hey, look everyone, Cammie is back and, ooh, she bought a whole bunch of friends. I better go get her some lunch and find some carrots or something for our guests so that we can celebrate that she came home safely. Hey, I know, we have carrot cake. We will both see you next week, adventurers. <laughs>